camera check. One, two, one, two. Do y'all see me good? Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Ruth and here is some angel energy just for you. If you are a new subscriber, hey girly. If you're a returning subscriber, like I always say, it's always great to have you guys back. Today's video is going to be a little different from my previous vlogs. This is going to be a sit down video and we are going to be talking about my sobriety. Yay! Yay! We are going to be talking about my sobriety and how this is basically going to be like an update. I haven't done a sit down video in a while, so in case you guys, I'm just mumbling and you know, going through my words, just follow through with me, try and follow through with me, try and be with me. And yeah, I'm a little shy speaking about this, but I'm going to be gaining the courage as I speak out about this because so many of you guys. Okay, not so many of you guys. What? A bunch of you guys ask me via my direct messages on my social media, of which if you haven't followed my social media, please follow me on my social media so that we can chat and get to know each other. I'll link them all below. A bunch of you guys ask me through my social media, like how my sobriety journey has been, how far I've come, and how did I get here? So today, this video is going to be talking about basically that, and this is an update. So the last video I posted about my sobriety was a six month sober update. For those of you who are new to my channel i have not been drinking alcohol for the past one year and i think one year one month and some days the last time i drank alcohol was around july 3rd 2022 and the day i decided to stop drinking alcohol was july 5th 2022 and since then as i record this video today is august the 13th 2023 i have not had any alcohol whatsoever in my system i have not had a shot i have not had a cider i have not had a glass of wine i have not had a cocktail i have had nothing with alcohol for the past year and a month and i'm super proud of myself and i'm just here to encourage you as well if you are looking into starting your sobriety journey i'm glad you're here with me because i'm going to be giving you some tips recommendations and a little encouragement on how you can go into this journey with an open positive mind and you know reap out some great rewards from putting the bottle down at 25 is when i made the decision to not drink alcohol and i am super proud of myself turning 26 that i made this decision last year because looking at my life right now my life has improved quite a bit you guys my life has completely changed for the better my life has turned around and i am doing so good in my life right now because i'm literally making a youtube video for you guys in my room in australia so yeah, my life completely turned around from working a 9 to 5 job that was paying me peanuts. Yeah, this is the best outcome of my life right now. Please bear with me, you guys. I'll be going off on tangents, but I'm going to try and make this video as clear, straightforward, and concise for you guys as possible. Drinking. I started drinking um, during my university days. Um, back then, you know, that's just the hype. There's not much to discuss about that. When you go off into university, it's a totally different lifestyle. You know, you're entering your formative adult years and you're young. You want to enjoy your youth. And some of us fall into the spectrum of the nightlife and the party life and the drinking life. So I'd say I slowly assimilated into that lifestyle. So after uni, when I started getting a few internships here and there and getting a few jobs here and there, I was also still partying and drinking so much so that it became part of my lifestyle i would drink say from thursdays when there was no class to sundays to sunday nights you know uh, and then hopefully make it to class on monday or make it to work on monday so basically that was the lifestyle from thursdays to sundays every week just like clockwork that would be my basic routine and you see that becomes like a lifestyle when something is incorporated into your life so much so that like it follows through into your routine that's part of your lifestyle so drinking more or less i would say was part of my lifestyle and it even became a hobby for me i even got a job that was paying me to drink it was paying me to have fun it was paying me to party like that was my life you guys and um 
basically the straw that broke the camel's back is one specific weekend to be honest looking back there's so many instances that should have made me quit drinking probably the alcohol poisoning or probably the feeling like shit every time and probably the depression that comes with you know drinking a lot those should have made me stop drinking alcohol but to be honest that didn't but the straw that actually broke the camel's back was this particular weekend i was out with some friends and we were just drinking you know and we decided to go to a house like party afterwards so the afters we continued drinking from there i woke up the next morning still feeling drunk and i decided to you know do what drink again so as i continued drinking i made a poor decision to go see an ex of mine <laughs> which was a very poor decision in my uh part i don't think i'm going to put this in but maybe i might put this in so that you can all also just i'm just gonna lay it all i'm just gonna lay it all for you guys because when you drink you make poor decisions and you regret some things it happens so basically i went to see my ex i didn't make such a poor decision but we just hung out and just drank some more the only thing is this time round, after drinking with him and partying with his friends and all that i got really sick like i woke up the next morning after that night of drinking and morning of drinking not forgetting i was out like on saturday night i woke up sunday morning and then sunday evening i'm at my exes continuing to party and to drink not having eaten not having like taken care of myself whatsoever i, I was a mess you guys i was a mess but this is a safe space so it's okay <laughs> i was a mess you guys when i woke up the next morning i had the shakes i was throwing up i remember my ex he was just knocked out knocked the f out and i feel like i was dying in this stranger's bathroom like i was literally on the floor dying so the little energy that i had i was able to call myself a cab and get my ass home now this is between um i'd say june and july the end of june the beginning of july because my sobriety begins july 5th so this time when i go home i remember i was in recovery i was recovering from my hangover and it, it sucked you guys this hangover i've had worse hangovers but this hangover was different this hangover was more like the hangover that was like you you really want to feel like this confirmation do you really want to continue feeling like this like ruth is this your life like ruth is this how you really want to move forward with your life like this is how you're gonna be feeling for the rest of your life because you like drinking and these are the repercussions that come with drinking drinking is fun but it comes with repercussions we all know that and that's the hangover and that's the depression and that's the poor decisions the repercussions from drinking alcohol especially in huge amounts so i remember this particular hangover i just really sat with myself in bed i was bedridden for about three days i could not wake up i could not eat i could not hold down food i could not hold down water for the first like two days and um yeah i remember on the third day i remember i was just really speaking to myself it's like i don't know how to explain it to you guys but i had some sort of spiritual not awakening because i've gone through my spiritual awakening but i guess you can go through various amounts of awakening but something just snapped literally while i was in bed on the third day when i finally gained regained some of my strength and i could actually hold down water is when i remember something just snapped in my brain and in my mind and in my entire body and i just said god if you take away this pain from me this hangover this feeling of shit if you take away this feeling of lowness from me if you take away this feeling of despondency if you take away this feeling of like i was looking for things you know through drinking i don't know about you guys but some people drink for fun and some people drink to cope i was drinking to cope I used to drink for fun, but then the fun stopped and I was drinking to cope. So I remember I just spoke to God really and I poured my heart out to God and I just told God, if you take this pain away from me, I will not touch that bottle. I will not touch that bottle. Jesus Lord, like if you take this from me, I will not touch that bottle. And just like that, on the third day, you guys, I remember I felt so much better by midnight and till today. I have not touched the ball. Okay, so that's basically part of the history and the background of how I would say I became sober. And I did it completely cold turkey. I just woke up and everything switched in me. I said I do not want any of that. A few things to note is when I decided to stop drinking, the first three days were really hard. The first, the next five days was super hard. The first week 
was really really hard because i ended up getting a job at a club and a restaurant where there was like alcohol and drinks everywhere so i would go to work and my friends would offer me shots heck there was free alcohol for us to drink but i stood my ground and i knew what i said to the lord and i knew the promise i was making to myself and i knew the promise that i'm making is really important for me so going to work actually was pretty easy um but my body was craving the alcohol but other than that i'd say my willpower and my mind was so focused like i'm talking laser i focused on the prize and the prize was to not drink again i remember while i was at work there were a few colleagues of mine ex-colleagues of mine who would say those were the comments like i remember one of my ex-colleagues said my parents knew my lifestyle you know they knew i liked to party they knew like that was my scene that was my thing so it was also hard for them to believe this and mind you my mom had been praying for a long time like for me to stop drinking because i used to drink you guys like i just used to drink and party like i wasn't over drinking but like i was partying too much is there a difference I was just partying too much but no regrets do i have any regrets for partying uh no i feel like i really lived out my my 20s my like 20 to 25 lit i had so much fun and i feel like yeah i'm good now i'm content with my life what was i talking about that's wild my first time doing a story time so just help me in the comments below pros to not drinking alcohol that i have noticed in myself that i would like to share with you so that if you are considering taking a break from alcohol or even going sober all through all the way this is your sign one of the things i really noticed till this day that really improved as soon as i stopped drinking was my health in terms of my immunity back when i was drinking alcohol i was always so susceptible to like colds sore throats um what's it called my sinuses would be acting up and yeah and to injuries like bruises and things like that those were very noticeable in me back when i used to drink alcohol two months into quitting alcohol i notice great improvement in one my skin because for those of you who have just started following me i used to have acne growing up and then it went into adult acne and then i've just been trying to you know regulate my acne and things like that into my adult years my skin completely improved as soon as i stopped drinking that was one thing and then i stopped getting the colds i stopped getting the sore throats i don't remember the last time i had a sore throat um my throat has been great i don't remember the last time i got a cold i don't remember the last time i had a flu basically i've been healthy like i'm healthy you guys i don't know how else to explain it i'm just healthy i feel healthy i went back i joined the gym shortly after i quit alcohol i was able to save a lot of money and join the gym so i put my money into the gym and i just started self-improving self-improving and my health has improved tremendously i used to be a night owl and i used to have problems sleeping early in the night these days i sleep quite early in the night and i wake up pretty early in the morning by let's say 6 50 7 30 um 8 i'm awake i'm up i'm basically a morning person these days and i love being a morning person these days because i have enough time in the world to get all the things whoops so my iphone storage is running low so i guess we gotta wrap this shit up let's see i got my handy dandy notes here so that i hope i don't leave anything out let me talk a little bit about the challenges that i faced because going into sobriety there are definitely challenges that you're going to face because this is not an easy journey it's not a journey that like i would say was easy is it possible yes because if i can do it and i'm telling you that very much means you can also do it and so many people have done it and so many people are doing it heck you're probably doing it right now too so you can do it so some of the challenges i faced one of the biggest things i i say i faced was i lost friends you guys i lost a bunch of friends there's so many friends who i would I was about to lie i'd want to keep them in my life right now but no <laughs> yeah okay so there's so many friends who i used to you know party with hang out with you know and all that jazz with that i lost and to be honest it wasn't at the time i felt bad about it because um 
I don't feel bad anymore so I don't know I, I want to say I want to say like losing friends is a challenge but in hindsight the peace in my life right now and the difference in who I am right now definitely outweighs the people who I once knew and the person who I used to be so I'm quite content with knowing that I lost friends but I'm just letting you know that, that you're definitely going to face that as a challenge because you're going to lose friends who you shared similar interests in you know you came together you know to bond over alcohol and to bond over drinks and to bond over heck trauma so um yeah you will lose friends because your interest will change my interest in alcohol completely stopped so i needed to look for other things to do and other activities and hobbies to keep me busy started doing things like walking in the park or going for you know hiking by myself i started journaling and then i also started going to the gym basically i just started redefining myself and who i am and also i started working on my youtube channel getting myself busy into the things that actually spark up my passion as opposed to drinking alcohol and having a good time <laughs> another challenge i would say i faced is battling the temptation battling the temptation to not drink to not hit up your friends to not want to go out for that party to not want to spend money on a shot that also really hit hard i'm not gonna lie that really hit me hard and i i'm looking back i don't know how i said i i really don't know how i survived but i really did um, here's the thing. So alcohol was what I was using, you know, to cope and, you know, to fill me up my, my, you know, my body, my temple in an essence. I was using alcohol to fill the void. So as soon as God took away alcohol, I now had this free empty void if that makes sense this void that needed to be filled now with positive things and that's why i'm talking about things like journaling things like pouring back into my youtube channel things like pursuing my master's degree going back to the gym and things like that so once you take out distractions from your life you have room and that room what makes a huge difference in that room now that you have is you need to fill it up with positive things because you can slowly backtrack you can slowly slip back and refill your cup you know with again the poisonous things that were making you you know not function properly as an amazing beautiful essential human being you know what i'm saying i had to start filling my cup with more positive things and I can't stress this enough I had will I had so much will and I still have so much will I have so much will to be a better person and driving myself to improving so just thinking about that and how amazing I feel right now I would not trade this for a shot I would not trade this for a shot because another challenge that I'm currently facing is hanging out you know with people who do drink alcohol of which I actually don't mind is that crazy can I just say this ever since I got sober um, I've been to the club like I think once or twice maybe not as much as I used to but I, I can I can actually hang around a club and I can actually hang around people who drink and actually have a good time so I have met people who feel like I feel like they're walking on eggshells around me because I oh so I shouldn't drink next to you no 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 I really don't mind like for me it's more of um me becoming sober this is for me it doesn't affect those around me to be honest does it affect how often then i will be around you let's say if you know for example maybe all you do is drink or that's you know your vibe of course that would affect me and i wouldn't want to choose to hang around that all the time but you know hanging around people who drink maybe on the weekends like guys are going out i mean that's normal people drinking is a culture so it's normal so i guess another challenge i've been facing is people walking around eggshells you know and the whole Oh, so you're sober. You think you're better than us. Oh, you think just because you don't drink alcohol. I remember there was this one time I was like at a house party and I brought them cake for my birthday. And this one girl was just asking me, so you don't drink alcohol? And I remember I was just telling her about my sobriety. This one guy was eavesdropping and he just yells out and he was drunk. He just yells out, nobody cares if you're sober. And I was like, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. So just be open to opposition the people who really be freaking butthurt over the fact that you are sober and that they are not that's something that i'm realizing and also another thing not a challenge but another thing i've realized is i 
when i hang around people and they used to know me for drinking and they've noticed that i've stopped i like that i'm able to also kind of spread that around i don't know how to explain it but like for you who's currently watching this or listening to this i really hope there's a way i can reel you in to wanting to put that bottle down because i feel amazing and i want you to feel amazing too i don't want to be the only one who's feeling amazing like come on what's the goodness in that like we're all here to help each other and uplift each other so if you can also just take in what i'm saying with a grain of salt or take it in with an open mind and an open heart and receive all this good love and good energy i'm giving to you you're at the right place okay. <laughs> recommendations on how i was able to track my journey for some of you maybe probably are wondering how are you able to track your journey how are you counting your days how are you counting your months like i know my months my days till down to my seconds because i use this really great application it's called sober app now sober app is this app that basically just helps you track your sobriety and you can do a private like you know tracking or you can do an open tracking i'll see if i can do some screen recording for you guys so that you can see how the app works it's a really great app easy to use user friendly i really i really like it and um it just notes down all it just tracks down my sobriety down to the milliseconds which i find really really cool and then also as soon as you achieve a milestone it awards you with this chips like you know a chip for your sobriety which i find really amazing because i like getting my chips i really hold my chips really really dearly although they're virtual chips i like them i love them because it's great to be rewarded for you know hard work going sober is not easy work it's hard work and if it was easy everyone would be doing it but it's not easy so yeah if you are looking for recommendations on how to track your sobriety or how just to track basically anything any addiction or sort like that because it also has motivational quotes that come in throughout the day and you can also journal how you day went and how you're feeling and yeah it's a pretty great app you can get it on ios and you can also get it on android something like that okay you guys with all that said and done i would like to finish this video by saying thank you so much for being here thank you so much for supporting thank you to my new subscribers i see you guys hi how are you guys doing i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share this video if you care and um have you subscribed yet if you haven't subscribed, please give your girl a subscribe and check out my social media. I'll link them all down below. If you have any questions in regards to sobriety or spirituality and the journey ahead, kindly DM me or email me or just check my social media and have a chat with me and I can help you go through this journey. So let's grow together, let's heal together and let's improve together. And with all that said and done, angel energy is out.